Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo, and today we'll be talking about a brand new update that happened to Goodlock just a few days ago. So originally when Goodlock 2020 first came out, Lockstar was not working. It looked like it was sitting there, but really wasn't on the server for it to work. Uh, but with this brand new update, it is working with a lot of really cool customization options. Also, there was a few other things I was added in with Task Changer, for example. So inside of here, when you go inside of the different styles, they did add in Vertical Stack. Now, another cool thing you'll notice is that with each and every one of these, you'll see a few more options on the bottom. So the gesture cube effect is also one of those that is new because you are using gestures if you're using Android 10 and a few other things that it does. But with this one here, it showed that there was three options. When you go to grid, you'll see that there is two. But when you head over into carousel, because there is a lot going on with this one, uh, there is going to be just a few more. Now, one of these is also mini mode. So if you like to apply the mini mode, what will happen is let's say that you go inside of here. It's just going to be on the very bottom. So this is going to be just a little bit easier when you're using one hand. So as you swipe through, you're going to see that it is mini. It's going to be on the very bottom. Uh, but then when you turn this one off, you head right back up, then you're going to see the larger images. So let's move back just a little bit. Let's take a look at Lockstar. Let's see, you know, what they added in, what is new. Um, and another thing too is that clock face added in a few more clock faces that you're able to choose. Uh, but let's go to the very top to Lockstar. So with my years of using good lock, I really wasn't huge into Lockstar. I've used it for a little while, then I took it right back off. It wasn't really my thing. But after this update, I am actually using it. It is activated uh, and you can go through and you can edit the lock screen of what it looks like. You can also do a auto layout. So it kind of looks at the image of what's there and it chooses the best one. Also, you know, playing around with the position, the wallpaper, the clock and the items that you can see. So first off, dealing with the position, what you're able to do is anything that is on your front little page your lock screen you can move it left right you can move it up down so if you wanted this to kind of sit over here you can make it sit there you can make this one sit over there it just really kind of depends on your wallpaper for me i have a lot going on in the center so i want to put it on the very top left hand side i'm um, also with this one too you can move this anywhere you want to you can see that i can make a zigzag playing a little bit of a game of snake by myself uh, and you can see that you can place this anywhere that you would like so for me i have this one just really showing the items showing a little image i'm not really showing the full detailed information which is going to be underneath items now let me show you what it looks like when let's say that this was just kind of sitting somewhere else uh, when you hit on auto layout it's going to place it right over there uh, and it's not going to put it you know too close to the edge for these little items so it's pretty nice and if you want to you can hit on save now underneath wallpaper, there's a bunch of different wallpapers that you can choose from on here. Uh, so if you like any of these, you can choose any of those. Now, if you choose something from maybe your own gallery, then you're gonna choose right over here and it's gonna reload up and pull up the wallpaper view. Again, this is the stock view, which is perfect. So if you love the way that this was set up with the normal setup of your Samsung, here's your lock screen, here's your home screen, here's all of your wallpapers, the gallery, the wallpaper services, everything is sitting there to where you can actually go through and edit and change. Now this is where you go through clock and you can go through at the very bottom, check out anything. These are all pretty much the exact same. But then when you move over here, you can see a little bit of Korean that's going on. Now there is a lot more going on here. So if you did download the module of Clockface, it's all gonna automatically load up right here. So some of these right here is brand new. Uh, there's a few more that I also noticed when I went through the screen. This one is new. Uh, entering your own text is new. D-Day is gonna be new as well. Uh, and then you can head over into items. This is where you can either show or not show certain things. So if you want to have your notification show the details, you can click that. Uh, you can also have notifications turned off, but I have my items only. Uh, here's the different shortcuts. If you want your shortcuts to be there or not there. Uh, and when it turns off, it kind of moves up. You kind of saw that. <laughs> uh, you also have your help text and your face widget. So you can turn those on, turn those off. And when you go through your clock, the wallpaper and the position of everything, then you just hit on save and you're finished and good to go. For the screen uh, timeout, I just kept mine as default. So I just kind of kept that one just sitting right there. Uh, so now let's move on over into task changer. We showed off a little bit around this one, uh, but I'm going to show you just a little bit more and a few things you're able to do. So carousel is going to be one that is pretty fun. You have a lot of different options on the very bottom. You have, also have mini mode, vertical stack. This is one that is brand new. And then when you swipe on up, 
this is what it looks like. And you can swipe it left or right to get rid of these ones. Now heading back over into the one that I personally use, which is Grid. Uh, the reason why I use this one is just because for me, it kind of seems a little bit easier. I see two of them per each row. Uh, also the sizes of the images is pretty large. If I want to get rid of anything that is running, I can swipe it left or I can swipe it right. Um, another really nice thing is let's say that we are using YouTube. And with YouTube, let's say I swipe up uh, and let's say maybe I wanted to use you know, messages. So I'd be able to actually bring this down here and then now it's gonna be multi-window, messages on the bottom or I can even put messages on the top. Now, let's say that you are not running an application. You're on your home screen here, you swipe up and you notice that you are going into your recent applications. Uh, when you try to do this on the top or bottom, it doesn't work, but it does put it into pop-up. So you're gonna have a lot of really cool, you know, multi-window functions, split screens with this uh, grid. Also, when you pop this open, you can just tap any of these two applications to make it run uh, multi-window as well. So let's head right back over inside of GoodLock and let's talk about a few extra things. Now heading inside of Clockface, you know, once you have this one already downloaded and installed, it already places it inside when you're going through editing. But let's say that you want to look at your always on display. My favorite one that I use here is the calendar. It's just fantastic. Um, but everything that you see here is all going to be stock. This is what you get by default. Uh, this right here is gonna be the ones that you've kind of looked at, you've used, so it's kind of your recents. This takes you inside of Galaxy Themes so you can get a few more. And then this one's gonna be your clock face with all the added different clock faces and, and images you can use for your always on display. Now let's say that we head on back. I wanna go right back inside one more time to the lock screen. And then again, right over here, this is gonna be everything that is done by default, everything that is stock. You can change your colors. You can use these really cool palettes or you can go through the entire color spectrum here. You can choose whatever color you want to, change the shade of what you want it to look like. Uh, and then let's move back over one more time over inside of the lock screen. And then on the right hand side, right over here, this is where the clock face is. So this is that little module uh, little module that you downloaded and it's gonna be a lot more. So you're gonna see again, Korean and then the ones that you're able to type in the text. But I wanna let you guys know about this recent update. It wasn't the full entire running application, but Lockstar is now running. A few more options, especially with the vertical stack and task changer and clock face did add in a little bit more. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.